so let's solve this problem when the when the uh, it's the question has got a small uh, variation that instead of having only one or two steps one can also do the third step three steps at a time so let's see here with the same uh, row here that we have got n is equal to 5 and suppose uh, i am standing here so there are there's no other way one or two or three steps where we can go further and there would be at least one way that we have reached to the top so similar to the first one or two steps problem the base condition here would be one and similarly for fourth again because there's only one way we can jump from here to here and uh, this whether it's two or third three steps uh, we, we cannot take that so again from dp4 it's only like one way that we reach here and then we reuse the value we have uh, got from dp5 so it should be one again similarly for db3 because we can only take one step at a time which is uh, and then you use the value of db4 or we can take two steps and then there's a second way we can reach to dp5 and then use uh, dp5 because we cannot take any third step from here because it is out of the out of the array index so there is this again dp3 would be two sum of dp4 plus dp5 now here would be the difference now suppose i am at uh, second step and now there's a liberty that i can also take three steps so first i mean let's go with the with the one with only one step so here we can take only like one step and then use the value of db3 because we already have calculated this what is the number of uh, ways from three to five and another way is i take two steps from here and then take uh, the value of db4 this is the second way third way is yeah, now there's a, and there's a small uh, difference here that we can take three steps from here. We just go from here to here. And this is the third way. And we use the value of five. So this is the small difference here that we are using. Two plus one plus one. Because there are three ways from, take three steps from here as discussed. So it would be two plus one, three, three plus one, four. And similarly from first, it, because you can take three steps, it would be one step here, which is one way, and use the DP2. Another way is that we take two steps and use the value of three. And the last way is that the third step, we can take it from here and then find it here. So essentially, the only difference between these two uh, variations of the problems of one or two steps or one or two or three steps is here we were we are just uh, adding the, the next two DP numbers. But here, in this case, we are adding three, the next three DB numbers. That's the only difference. And this is the only tweak uh, that we have to solve this problem. So let's learn this formula here. So it would be four plus two plus one, next three. So for this, it would be four to six, seven. And similarly, this would be seven plus four, 11 plus two, 13. So there are 13 steps this is the answer if uh, we are allowed to have one or two or three steps okay so let's solve this problem in java that whatever uh, that approach or algorithm that we have discovered here in our next video see you, see you in the next video